Good afternoon and welcome back to my man cave here in Southwest Florida. And uh, it's been a long time. I spent a long time on Alaskan cruise. Then I went back to uh, Vegas and then I was in San Francisco and uh, lots of uh, cruising and lots of uh, playing craps. But listen, I wanted to talk about things on in regards to the Princess Players Club. And once again, I'll wear, show you where my, where my Princess Players Club hat right there. And uh, because there's been a lot of changes to Princess Players Club recently. Since May 31st, there is no longer the Princess Plus 3 package, which is giving, given to the people uh, in the Princess Players Club. Now, let me preface that, okay? If you lose a lot of money, then you will be receiving the Princess Plus uh, plus package, okay? Um, so before you all write me and say, that's not true, I received it. You received it because you lost a lot of money, okay? I have, uh, for instance, I know several people that have received uh, the Princess Players uh, Plus 3 package um, on this cruise I was just on, and, uh, and they received it where I didn't receive it. I just received the, the free balcony, the $600 in free play. But they received it because one person lost about $8,000, $9,000 at the craps table for um, the last one I was on, which was the 10 day -er. And uh, then I know a, a lady who was at the slot machines who uh, she got the same, she got a great, she got the balcony, she got I want to say $1,000 in free play, and she got the plus package also. Um, but she didn't tell me exactly how much she lost, but I know that she lost near $10,000, if not north of $10,000. So if you want to guarantee to, uh, to receive the Princess uh, Plus 3 package, lose a heck of a lot of money. I don't want to lose money. And so I always keep a filter on me. So guess what? If I'm not gonna receive the Princess Plus package and I'm concerned, well, my Wi-Fi is always really nominal because at the, at the elite level, I just pay less than half for the Wi-Fi. And drinks, I don't drink. So I always get them at the, at the table. They're always buying, getting me my free water and my free Diet Coke. And if I wanted beer or something, they're going to get it to me because I stand there for hours and I'm one of their best patrons, okay? And as far as the free tips and gratuities, that's no big deal. $15 a day. whip de doo So you got to play hard. You got to play strong and long to receive uh, really good comps now. So I wanted to show that for, for years, you know, while the pandemic was going on, you would get inundated with these kind of cruise offers in the mail and email to you. These don't come anymore. Now, you all have noticed, these are not coming as readily as they used to. They may send one out every three or four months, but people getting off Princess Cruises, this is their only means right here from the Easter Bunny Santa Claus or the Tooth Fairy, AKA Casino Host, to receive a free cruise and so these cruises used to be fantastic because as you all know these cruises were for three cruises you can see right there that pink line right there free cruises three new bookings right there and then each one of those free bookings were on up to 20 day cruises so like I've said before, you could generally book, and I have, you know, three back-to-back 20-day -back cruises. And I have those coming up again on the Enchanted Princess come the end of December this year to, like, February, the middle of February. So I got 20, 20, and 20 going. And uh, so, but that was only came, that came from this, from these offers. These went bye-bye. Okay, now some of you may say, I got this offer in the mail and I got this email. Okay, it's hit or miss, I guess, okay? But the only way you're getting these in the mail or emailed to you 
is you have to show a loss, okay? If, if you're winning at the casino, you're not getting the plus three package and you're not getting these offers anymore. The only thing you're getting is this, slid under your door. So there's nothing wrong with that. So let me talk about that real quick. And uh, there's so many questions that you all have asked me over the past month, five weeks, six weeks, and I haven't answered a lot of back because the Wi-Fi is horrific on cruise ships. But anyhow, um, I'm gonna say this. I had a Royal Caribbean executive write to me uh, this past week and they said that they believe that the large buy-in is important, but it's not as important as the play. And they were absolutely right on that, okay? How it works is this. The large buy-in of one to $5,000 every single night is for, a lot of it is for show, but a lot of it is for the pit boss or the box man to enter that data that you put in, uh, three, four, five thousand dollars every single night. And uh, what that does is it puts you in a league. It puts you in, it puts you on their radar, okay? If you just buy in with a hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred dollars, I'm just telling you the truth, they don't care. They do not care. You're not even close to being uh, in for the free cruise. Now I had somebody write me talking about carnival cruises. He wrote me about a month ago. Kind of got my dander up a little bit. And he said, you know, you're not telling the truth about that I go on cruises, I go on carnival all the time, and I just buy in with $500, and I'm really nice to everybody, and I'm, you know, giving people back rubs, and, you know, the dealers are, you know, just, you know, and I, I, I bet hi and i could always get free balconies and stuff okay i don't know okay you know you have your own way okay i'm not saying that is a way that you're going to get them or you're not going to get them but i'm going to show you tell you the ways that you get them on princess cruises and carnival pretty much is the same way also uh, but the difference on carnival versus princess is that the San santa claus and the easter bunny and i just had a really good friend uh, my buddy Derek, he just got off and he played balls to the wall on Carnival. I mean, bought in every night with $3,000. He was playing, he was drinking, he was partying. He had, he, I think he had like 10 of his buddies on this trip. And he was, he had one guy that, that bought him, he, he bought $25,000 with him on a cruise. And after all that cruising, it was just a five day cruise out of Miami. They got all the free drinks, they got all the free comps, they went to the Fahrenheit, which is the steakhouse on Carnival ships. This was actually on the Carnival Sunrise. And, uh, you know, they got all this free stuff, but they didn't get these to slid under their door. And they haven't, and it's been two weeks and they haven't received anything yet in the mail. And uh, I have all that Carnival stuff but in the mail. Um, but it's because uh, they don't do that on Carnival. Carnival does not send this under your under your door. Okay, it's only Princess. Okay, I, I can't speak for Royal. I can't speak for all these others, but Princess, I can tell you the facts on that. Okay, so okay, so the buy-in is important. Okay, and I always say this: the reason that you buy in with three thousand, four thousand, five thousand dollars. The casino wants to know that you have the ability to play and lose that money. Period. They don't care about anything else. And if you don't have a filter on you and you're gonna drain three thousand dollars, then that's on you. But I'm gonna tell you the really the simple way to do this. Number one thing, the numero uno thing is, you know, they always say in low in uh, real estate, what's the three most important things? Location, location, location. What's the three most important things in getting free cruises and comps? On cruise ships, the host, the host, the host. Okay, The box man and the pit, pit boss will put your, your bedding in, they will put your raw, raw data in, they will go through algorithms, send it off to the corporate office, 
they'll put this jumbo together and they'll come out and spit it out and, and voila, second to last night you're gonna get some offer, okay? But the casino host is the one that can give you anything you want while you're on the cruise ship, whether it's free dinners, bottles of wine, whether it's uh, spa day, you know, free massages. They can do that for you. So the casino host, you wanna first, when you get into that casino on the ship, go tackle. No, don't tackle them, but go find that host and say, hey, I'm Mark, and I wanna make sure I'm comped and rated on my play. Um, I, I play craps, and uh, I just wanna say hello. Perfect. Then when you see them again, say, hey, how are you doing? And then they see how much you're playing, and then they'll come up and they'll, they'll look at some of your numbers. They may even go over to the box man and they'll look at your stats on, if you're black lined or green line, look at my other videos about black line, what that is, 100 to $249 average roll. And uh, I don't wanna go down a rabbit trail. Somebody asked me, do I have to have over $100 on playing blackjack average, average hand? You know what I'm saying? Why, you don't need to ask that, just play it. Play it. And it may hurt, but put a filter on yourself. So it's simple. If you're on a seven day cruise, six days only count, okay? Then put a filter of, if you're gonna come in with three to $5,000 each night, I come in with 5,000, okay? Because it used to be 5,000 would get you mini suites and suites. If you played hard, had over a hundred dollar average roll. It's not that way anymore. They've tightened up the reins and so, you go in with $5,000 and put a filter of 10%. If you lose $500, and I had people write me and say, you're not telling people to, but let me tell you something, okay? If you lose $500 on a seven day cruise for six nights, you just lost $3,000, okay? Now, if you lose $500 a night, like I say, you need to find a new sport because there are gonna be nights that you're gonna win $500 or 1,000 or only $200 or break even. But get out of there if you get down to losing $500 on a night. Come back the next night, okay? The next night you may break even or make a couple hundred bucks. I always say that if I'm on a cruise for seven nights, playing six nights, buying in at $5,000 every single night, the truth is, I am generally going to lose about $700, okay, over a cumulative time period. This past month of play, of cruising in Alaska, okay, I was really fortunate. I ended up making $2,500, $3,000 because the first week I was up like $8,000, okay, because there were some great craps players and luck was on our side. So... But, you know, somebody says, well, if you keep on, on playing, you're going to keep on losing. Absolutely. You will eventually lose. They didn't build these cruise ships or Vegas on winners, okay? But you have to try to just work the system. I mean, play it methodically. You know, I always talk about don't be the, don't be the rabbit or the hare, but be the turtle. Okay, because those people that are right in, right out, binge betting, you know, you see them all the time. I see them all the time. I gotta say this one thing. Um, well, I was in Vegas. I was playing at Bellagio uh, last week. Or this past week, I forget when. Okay, this never has happened to me. Okay, I'm playing at a table with, you know, minimum, it was. 25 and then $50, they jump to minimums. That's rough, $50, because you're you're out here betting. You have to have like $70, you know, 60 and $70, you know, 50, $60 on each number, okay? So I'm playing and I'm shooting. And there's some high rollers. I mean, they got colored chips. These guys have colored chips I've never seen before. They were thousand and five thousand dollar chips, okay? And I'm just, playing with my hundreds. I, I bought in a little higher than normal, but I, uh, so I'm playing. And so I, I bought in with like 10 grand. 
but everybody else is around. They're buying in with thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars plan. Okay, so I'm rolling, and I see this one guy, and he throws down on my first roll. He throws down a thousand dollar chip. I think it was orange. Puts it right down there, and he throw it. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I'm gonna lose this guy a thousand dollars off the rip. So I throw the dice. I roll a four. They put another thousand dollar chip next to his. He was happy. So then he's looking at me, pointing at me. He says, "Let's do it, man." I said, "Okay." He put down two thousand dollars, two thousand two, uh, both of those chips, and he put a hundred dollars chip, which was a black chip for me, and a hundred dollar black chip. For the dealers. I'm thinking, wow, okay. I'm thinking, gosh, I'm setting with the with the threes. I'm gonna be throwing a six or eight. I kind of just deviated from that a little bit. He said, Man, you throw it. And I knew because he said to the to the dealer, I want a hundred dollars for the for the for the shooter and a hundred dollars for the dealers for you guys. He has two thousand up. I said, okay. Two. It paid double. Okay, so he ended up with two thousand dollars, with four thousand more for six thousand dollars. Okay. The dealers and I, I got the one black chip that he gave for, to me, and then two more. So I had th got three hundred dollars off of throwing a two. That's called. Good craps etiquette. That really pumps up a table right there. So that is a, I've never seen that one before. I got a couple others I'll tell you about later in another video, but that, kudos to that guy. And uh, that's fantastic. And throwing a two, getting double. And if I would have thrown a 12, I believe that was triple. But you know, throwing a two, $300. Okay, so where were we at? Okay, we talked about that the host is the most important person. Um, deciding factor, okay, is if you lose a lot of money now on a cruise ship, then you will still get the Princess Plus package, okay? Uh, watch my other videos in regards to that, okay? But if you have a filter on you and you're only going to lose two, three hundred dollars joining a whole cruise or five hundred, okay, whatever it is. Somebody said, you must be so lucky if you only lose five, seven hundred dollars. No, I'm not lucky. I'm just, I have a filter. And I don't care. At $500, I quit, I stop, and I go back to my room, and I'm done. So, okay. Let's just, let's just stop it there, because there's so much more to talk about. But let's just talk about that this program, they're not sending out these as much as they used to send out. And on Princess... They're getting tight with these, but you will receive this if you play balls to the wall. You will receive them. And uh, so, till then, subscribe to my channel. Y'all have a really good day.